but she's that's all she really needed to be because she's so superior around the greens and on the greens that and in between the years you know yeah. uh, that 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 gray matter that gray area where she's she's so unbelievable and so you know to speak with anatomical precision yeah you learn from lucas you learn from kelvin you know, you learn a lot from, you know, uh, another friend of mine, but he's an irascible fella. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Martin. I mean, I like Jeff, but man, he's an irascible. Like you we follow him. This, this year has been super interesting with that, I think. Like, you've got Sean Foley kind of, you know, reinvigorating Lydia Ko's career, which I think is, I respect that a lot. I think that's super cool because I think Lydia is great for the women's game and, and, I also think her swing is like looks really good right now, so I love what they're doing. Um, then you've got Jordan Spieth, who goes and just admitted this week that he went and worked with Butch for a little bit, and then has been this year sort of having this game plan to find his game, and he just shot nine under yesterday. And then you've got Rory, who was struggling, and you know goes and works and with a new coach, and then wins. So I, I think it's been a cool year for some some players that kind of lost their way for a little bit. I think that's yeah. cool to bring a player back from that because I don't think that's easy. No, not at all. Because you know you're 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 not only dealing with um, you know highways that have gotten blocked off, um, so you have to sort of find another path to those highways. But you've lost confidence, so there's scar tissue there too, and sort of get over that. Uh, you know, Lydia Ko, again, uh, no malicious intent, but you know she worked with David Ledbetter. And David Ledbetter had this theory about the A swing, which is where you steepen the shaft going back and you shallow it on the way down. It certainly worked for Jack Nicholas, Byron Nelson, NB Park, you go on and on. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the idea, but she already had motor patterns established, myelin created on these super highways. Yeah. And to and I think you know, he just didn't understand the concept of myelin and skill acquisition. Uh, and how long it takes to, to, to change a, a perfectly built superhighway, tear it down and build another one. And, and he changed her golf swing and she got more inaccurate. Uh, she was never really that accurate. Right? And, and shorter, like and shorter. even long and she got like shorter. Right, she's not a great driver now. I mean, she's, I mean she's, she's gotten back up to her driving distance that she had when she was 13 or 14. Yeah. before David started, you know, uh, I think robbing her of her natural skill. Um, but David was trying to sell that theory uh, and trying to sell a book, The Ace Win. And it, it uh, you know, and he, you know, obviously he thought it would make her better, uh, clearly, you know, again, no malicious intent, you know. He thought it was a great idea. Like to Brian's point about methods, uh, it, was, it was a method without, and this is where teaching has gotten so much better. I think we, most teaching now, so fully understands uh, the, the, the movement patterns in a, in a method and what you have to do to incorporate that, uh, that, that, uh, that they don't get off the track as easily as they used to. But, but that was a shame and, and, and with Lydia Ko, but she's now had to get over, you know, the loss in confidence and she has, and she is back, right? She, she's, she's, you know, she's a decent driver uh, and a pretty good iron player. But she's, that's all she really needed to be because she's so superior around the greens and on the greens that, and, and between the years, you know, yeah. uh, that, that, that gray matter, that gray area where she's, she's so unbelievable. She's not an unbelievable ball striker. She is an unbelievable chipper and putter. Uh, extraordinary. I mean, you just go spend, go spend uh, 30 minutes online and trace her statistics, driving, actually driving distance, putts per green sand saves uh, and total putting you go look at that and you can just see where she fell off and where she got to she's gotten back to a, a manageable place with her ball start and she's I, extraordinary I, uh, I played her in the, the USAM the year that she won so back when she was 15 and um, I think that summer she won like twice on the LPGA maybe yeah. right um, that, you played her yeah and I remember <laughs> I remember Brian texted me or something somebody texted me like well what did you think about it and I was like this is, the, I've never seen more boring golf in my life. Like nothing was interesting about it. Like she hit the ball. I mean, she hit the ball probably 220 off the tee. 
didn't miss a fairway. Like every time she was inside 100 yards, she made birdie every single time. And it was like, there was nothing interesting about it. I mean, like anybody could watch that and be like, I can do that. that like, there was nothing she did that was like, that's not something I can do. I mean, it was, it was just fascinating that way. I've never seen such a boring round of golf. And my game is not boring. So it was, it was night and day. <laughs> <my> game, but. <laughs>